The kosher birds are the Torah. All the birds besides 24 are kosher. Does that mean that most of the birds are kosher? Not so simple. Toysa says that those 24 birds are 24 species, and each one has hundreds of birds under. And it's very possible, Toysa says, that most of the birds are non-kosher. The Torah mentions only 19 birds, 19 in Pasha Shmini and 19 in Pasha Zre'ei. The Gemara says there are four more birds that the Torah doesn't write their names. Ayo and Dayo Lemino, Oriv Leminehu, Netz Leminehu, and the Anofer Lemino. Which means we have an extra four birds, 19 and 4 is 23. And that's the sheet of Rabbi Abohu, that only 23 birds mentioned in the Torah. And he holds that one bird has four names, Do'o, Ayo, Ro'o, and Dayo. In Shmin it's called Do'o and Ayo. In Re'e it's called Ro'o and Dayo. And it's to remember, Vashas Re'e, Ro'o. That sheet is Rabbi Abohu. Rav argues with Rabbi Abohu and he holds that Enoch the Do'o is the Ro'o, but the Ayo, it's not the Do'o, the Ayo is the Do'o. And in Pashas Re'e says, Ayo Dayo, which is one bird. According to Rav, there are 24 birds. That's why the Rambam brings in Yada Chazoko. We're not sure what those birds are. If you would know what those birds are, like Mona says, you would be able to eat any other bird. The first three birds are the Nesher, Perez, Osnio. The English translation is Eagle, Ossifrej, and Osprey. The next one, the Ro'o, the Ayo, the Dayo, the Orev, the White Vulture, the Black Vulture, the Kite, and the entire family of Raven. The Basayano, Dachmas, Shachaf, the Ostrich, the Owl, the Gull, the Nets, the Hawk family, the Kos, the Yanshuv, the Falcon, the Ibis, the Tinshomes, the Swan, the Kos, the Pelican, the Rohom, the Makpi, the Shalach, the Cormorant, the Chasido, the Stork, the Anofo, the Heron family, Uchifas, the Hopo, the Atalev, the Bat. The Nesher being the Eagle is a problem because Chazal say the Nesher is the highest flying bird and the biggest bird. Others say that it's the Griffin Vulture which flies much higher than the Eagle. The Eagle is a bird of prey. A raptor, meaning it hunts for food. Bald eagle is found in America. Half of the population is found in Alaska. It catches fish with its claws, which are long and sharp, called talons. They make the nests on top of hardwood trees. The nests are the largest of the North American birds. Those eagles that live next to lakes that freeze, they do migrate to the south during the winter. The bald eagle is the national bird and symbol of America, and is referred as American bald eagle. The vulture has two species known as the Old World and the New World. The New World, the American vulture, is closely related to the stork. The European are closely related to the eagle. In the New World they have seven species. In the Old World they have 15 species. Some of them are called buzzards. Vultures are called scavenger birds, which means that they clean up dead animals. They clean up carrion. Occasionally they do attack young living animals, but usually they eat dead animals that were killed by different predators. They group together and within two hours they can clean up a large animal that died. They eat so much that they cannot even fly. How do they find food? They have sharp eyesight. They see animals that are not moving or they see different vultures in a group till they join the feast. There is a vulture called the turkey vulture. It has a good sense of smell of dead meat. They usually have bare heads which allows vultures to stick their head in the nevelo of the dead animal without dirtying their feathers. The bearded vulture from the old world is called the Lemmergeier. Its favorite food is marrow and bones. Lemmergeier means that they hunt lambs. There is a vegetarian vulture called the African vulture or the palm nut vulture. Vultures can remain aloft for hours, soaring gracefully on the warm air thermals, resting on the broad wide wings. The American vultures have no sound. The black vultures when confronted, they speed up the food. The condor are types of vultures. There are two types of condors. The California condor and the Andes condor from South America. The large one can reach up to 15 and a half feet wingspan and 33 pounds. When full grown, it is uniform black with white feathers next to the neck. The head and the neck is red blackish with very few feathers. The crown on the head is flat. The skin on his head is capable of flushing in response of emotional state. The young ones are grayish brown with blackish head and neck hiding emotional states. The middle toe is greatly enlarged and the hind toe is slightly developed, which presents a question and a problem according to the Rishoyim that hold the etzba yesera that you don't find in the nesher, you do find a long toe in the condor. The beak is hooked, making it easy to tear rotting meat. The iris of the eye is different between the male and the female. The male has a brown iris and the female has a deep red iris. They do not have eyelashes, contrary to the usual rule among the birds of prey. The female is smaller than the male.